Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in this short video, we are going to go over the major differences between the data lakes and the data warehouses and which storage solution will be the right choice for your use case. So we are going to go over some of the real world use cases and first we need to first discuss and understand the concept of the data warehousing as well as what is data lakes. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So now let's start with the data lakes. So you can imagine data lakes is a vast repository where you can store all sorts of data. This could be structured as well as the semi structure. So the data lakes are designed for scalability as well as the flexibility. So it can handle a vast amount of data, which makes it a great choice for big data analytics where you are generating a lots of data on a daily basis. And also you want a great storage solution, which is flexible to accommodate all types of data formats, as well as it should be scalable enough to handle such large data. So data lake is the right choice for you. Now let's talk about what are the data warehouses. So data warehouses, you can think of them as like the organized and a structured way of storing the data, which is like sorted as well as structured. So it is more suitable for the structured data as similar to a SQL database. So data warehouses will excel at storing the structured data, just like the table in a SQL database. And it is more suitable for traditional business intelligence as well as the reporting. So let's talk about some of the real world use cases of data lakes as well as the data warehouses. So if you talk about the data lakes, data lakes are more suitable to store the data, which is present in the unstructured and the raw format, which makes it a good choice for every data engineer as well as data scientists to extract some meaning out of that data and explore and derive some meaningful insights. So data lakes are more suitable for storing raw and the unprocessed data, which makes it an ideal choice for every data engineers as well as the data scientists to analyze and draw meaning out of the data, which is coming from different kinds of sources. And if we talk about the data warehouses, data warehouses will shine where we want to handle structured data, which is stored as a tabular format and your business users can able to query that data for business intelligence reporting, as well as all sorts of analytics tasks. So if you talk about the key differences, as you already know that data lakes are more suitable to handle raw and the unprocessed data. And on the other hand, data warehouses are more suitable to handle the structured data. And the major difference between data lakes and the data warehouses is like data lakes are the schema on red, which means that you can structure your data whenever you need when you are reading that data. But on the other hand, Data warehouses are the schema on right where you are predefining the structure of your data into rows and the columns like the structured data. So if we talk about the challenges and the best practices, every data storage solution comes with their own challenges as well as the best practices to improve the performance. So if you talk about the data lakes, you need the robust data quality checks because your data is in unprocessed format. And to maintain the data quality, you have to have a robust metadata management system. And on the other hand, if we talk about the data warehouses where your data is already structured in that scenarios, you have to carefully model your data to ensure the efficient querying of that data. Since data warehouses are also suitable for the big data analytics purpose. So for that, data modeling should be a vital part of that solution. So you may ask what will be the right choice for your data storage solution? Your question is right. So it totally boils down to what type of data you are handling. If it is in the structured format, then data warehouses will be the ideal choice. But if you have like the data coming from various sources and in different formats, then might be data lake is a good choice for you. So it totally depends on the volume of data, the type of that data and what you want to achieve by analyzing that data. So due to this, many organizations will choose the hybrid approach where they will utilize the data lakes for their diverse data sources, as well as the data warehouses for their business intelligence querying, as well as the reporting purpose. 
So now let's talk about the real world use cases of the data lakes and the data warehouses. So let's say if you have company A who wants to leverage the data coming from sensors on a real time basis and they want some solution to store the data for their recommendation engine system. So for that purpose data lake will be the ideal choice for them because the data will be coming on a huge scale and it should be coming in the real time as well as in the unstructured and raw format. So for that predictive analysis as well as recommendation systems choosing data lake as their storage solution will be an ideal choice for them. But let's say if company B wants to have a robust sales analytics platform where they want to query their transactions on a huge scale and an efficient manner then definitely that data will be structured and data warehouse will be the ideal choice for them. So at last choosing the right data storage solution really depends on what type of analytics goal you want to achieve as well as the type of data you're handling and understanding their differences as well as the strengths will really help you make the right choice for your data storage solution. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.